Right. Hello, my name is Pauline. This is my like very first uh, talk ever, so I'm really, really nervous. <laughs> and today I'll be, I'll be speaking about Visual Viewport API. And not only about Visual Viewport API, but some stuff about viewports as well. So uh, as I mentioned, it's like a very new API. It's only like community draft report yet. But if you look at the support, it's kind of widely supported now. I think you can, at least you could just try it, just play with it, just look at it if you can use it in so some of your cases. And also, yes, about new shiny things. Yes, it's front end. Things change quite often. You can't like catch on everything. What is it? In general, it's just some API. It can be used querying and modifying the properties of the Windows Visual Viewport. And that's how it looks like. But I would like to try it just in the console. Let's see. So you can see a few like, properties. I would like to, to change something a bit so you will see if something has changed. So we can see that page top has changed. And also we can notice that there's some like kind of pairs of properties that looks a bit similar, but they're not the same. I mean, uh, about, I mean, offset left, page left, and offset top, page top. Like, what does it mean? What's uh, the difference between them? And now we just opened uh, our console. We haven't uh, zoom in. We just um, code visual viewport and our offset is a code to zero, both offset left, offset left and offset top. What has changed is the page top because we scrolled a bit down. So it remains zero until we zoom in. So let's, let's call it again. We can see that scale has changed because we zoomed in a bit. And also offset, offset top and offset left has changed. And if you like make some calculations here. Oh, also I wanted to say that without zooming in, this page top is the same as a window page Y offset because it's just some it's the amount of pixel we scrolled from the top, let's say. And if we zoom in, we also see offset top and offset left has changed. And if you notice the difference between, uh, wait, I'll call it. The difference between page Y off offset and uh, page top will equal to offset top. And I want to explain why and uh, what exactly means uh, page top, what is offset top. So uh, if you just read the spec, it might be a bit complicated. It says like it's the Y coordinate, page top is the Y coordinate relative to the initial containing block origin of the top edge of the visual viewport in CSS pixels. Offset top, uh, return the offset of the top edge of the visual viewport from the top edge of the layout viewport in CSS pixels. And uh, well, I don't know what about you, but for me, it was like, what is it? What is like layout viewport? What is visual viewport? What's the difference? I had no clue like how to understand all of it. So I just, started figuring it out and first about initial container block. If you open the specification again, uh, it, it says it's the container block of the root element. So if you want to give in HTML some relative size and position, it will be calculated relative to the initial container block. And uh, on desktop, it matches the browser's window size and on mobile, as you can see further, it's a bit more complicated about viewports. 
viewport is, is equal to the browser window on desktop. And on the mobile, as I said, it's a bit more complicated. How do we measure it? We just use document dot document element dot client with in the same type. But there is a thing. If you know document document dot element returns the root element of the document. So if you try clone it in the browser. It will give us each each element. But there is a thing. If you try changing width of HTML tag and try calling document dot document element dot client width, it will not give you width of HTML tag. It will still give you the size of your viewport viewport uh, on the desktop. So it's kind of tricky. And uh, if you wonder how can we find the dimensions of the HTML itself instead, it's stored in document the document element of set width. It's kind of tricky. And about layout viewport, when I figured things out, I found this answer on, on Stack Overflow, and I put the link in the end if you, uh, of my presentation if you want to check it yourself. So basically, the difference between, between a layout viewport and visual viewport. Roughly speaking, what we see on the screen at this moment is visual viewport. But you can zoom in and everything that contained like in in page will not be recalculated because CSS layout calcul calculated relative to the layout viewport. So layout viewport is some uh, bigger thing, like everything that you have on the website. And if you zoom in, the part that you see is visual viewport. If you haven't zoomed in, if like your scale is equal to, to one, let's say layout viewport uh, like is the same as visual viewport, roughly speaking. But if you zoom in, they become different. And I also wanted to say about how can we measure the layout viewport and the visual viewport first, as I said before, document, document, dot, document, element, dot, client width and height, it's viewports. Layout viewports dimensions and visual viewport, it's window dot inner width and height. And if you, I also wanted to come back for a second to this slide because I hope now it's uh, less complicated. If it was uh, complicated for you in the first place, as for me, I don't know. Like now it's more understandable, like page top is just some code coordinate from the very top of your page. and. Offset top is kind of the difference between visual viewport and layout viewport. That's why when we did some calculations before, like it worked. And uh, also, if you notice before, you can you can notice that there's uh, two methods on resize and on scroll. And I just wrote a few lines of code just to to make everyone understand how does it work. Let's open it in the new window. So the default like is one, as you can see. It's we console in the scale. So let's try zooming in. And now you can see we console in this, and also when we scroll something, we also console it. So basically that's that's it. It's quite easy to use. And why do I need visual viewport API? Like uh, we, we took a look how, how, how to use it in general, what it can do. The point is that, as I said before, visual viewport API uh, allows you to position elements relative to the visual viewport instead of a layout viewport. It's not that easy to find some cases that like really I found like very important to, 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 to use it, but still 
I wanted to show an, an example from the spec, like if you zoom in, you can see that this, no, not like this. Like if you zoom in and zoom out, you can see that this, this scene in the, in the bottom remains the same. It has the same size. And for example, if you have some block with ads on your website, and you don't want people to zoom it in with the rest of your content, it can be useful. So first, I thought that it could be small improvements in user experience. Second, it's, it probably could be useful in some gaming stuff in some HTML. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And also I put all the links uh, in the end, my Twitter, my GitHub, all things that I write to make this presentation or just stuff you can read to dive in. So, and I will put this link in the comments on Meet website to our current meeting. You can uh, like watch it and ask questions and contact me if you want. <laughs>